What's up everybody? Dorian Penaglue from DorianPenaglue.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about used gear. First of all, everything that I own was bought used. The only thing I bought new was from Amazon and it was from Amazon's used. But the only things that were new were like my flashes, my memory cards, things like that. But as far as my 5D Mark III goes, I bought that used on Craigslist. As far as my 24-70, I bought that used on eBay. <clears throat> and as far as my 7200, I bought that used from Amazon. I could understand why people would be intimidated from purchasing used gear from sites such as Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, and those third party sites that also offer used gear. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, you know, properly buy used gear. You have to be very weary, you have to be very descriptive when you're looking. And because of that, you're going to be able to get the best gear for the bang of your buck. So let's go ahead and hop on the computer, and I'll show you the best way to find the best used gear. For you. Alright, so now that we're here on the computer, you can see I'm on Amazon's site. So, for the sake of this video, wow, I sound German there. For the sake of this video, for the sake of this video, we're gonna just do the Canon 70 to 200. So, with this Canon 70 to 200, we're gonna look at the one that we want. Let's say we want the first version, we want it used. So, now when you see this page, a lot of people would see like used good, they'd see the cheapest price, and they see all this stuff, but includes no case, no box. So that's something that I wouldn't be um, purchasing from. You want someone that has all the original accessories, and you want someone that has, you know, pictures of the item. So now for the next one, 1350. This person's selling this lens like new. It comes with the Hoyer protective filter, and it's always been on the front of the lens with no flaws. So as you can see, I mean, this seller just launched, so personally I wouldn't I wouldn't trust it as as much as you know someone that's got a positive rating and it also takes 13 to 29 days so you have to make sure that whatever you're ordering is gonna be you know there by the time you need it but as you can see the photos here I mean the lens looks good the glass looks good so they did take a lot of care with the with the lens but you have to worry about you know is this lens gonna come as is as it's described because since the seller just you know launched and it's going to come in 13 to 29 days so that's something you got to put into effect so a lot of time I'll scroll through these images until I get to the one that actually has an image has a rating and does like a quick shipping time so for this one 1399 with 6049 shipping comes with the Hoya filter uh, front and rear lens cap and lens hood it looks like it doesn't come with the box but it comes with you know everything that you need to have the lens function as you can see there's a scuff on the lens it has the Hoya filter though there's uh, a little bit of dents over here a little bit of scratches on the top from lens hood coming on and off the glass looks really clean though and the glass looks clean and it's got a late date code it looks like a, a UV or a UU date code so you know something like this being that this lens is going for around 14 to you know 1500 right now it's going new for you know, 1450 from this 50% positive person, but it's going new for 2180. That's a considerable amount of difference. I mean, you could even go up to, you know, higher amount of, of price. And this person has one that has one scratch. This is the only scratch that it has for 1450 plus 649. And it comes with, you know, the original bag, lens hood, and tripod mount. So unfortunately, it doesn't come with the box and it has a scratch, but. It comes with all the other accessories like the tripod mount and all that. So, I mean, this right here would save you 600 bucks rather than buying it new, which is always a good thing. So, that's how you buy from Amazon. That's the best way to buy from Amazon is to just do your research on what the lens is actually worth. Try to find it for either that price or the price below. And then see what the best quality is out there and make sure that it has a photo. If it doesn't, you could actually contact sellers on Amazon and have them send you photos. But anything that's new just launched, I try to stay away from. And anything with um, like this fulfilled by Amazon is a good thing. So if you want something like that, just know that that's a pretty well protected seller. But as you can see, there's no data here. So you would have to personally email them. But that's Amazon. Let's go to Craigslist. So right now we're on Craigslist. We're photo and video, Central NJ. So up here, what I usually do, I'll put in Canon 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8 LIS. The IS one is the one that we're looking for. 
I'm going to do has image. I don't really care about any of the lenses that don't have images because if the seller didn't put images online, something right off the bat should tell you that they're either not confident in the product or they're not confident that they can describe the product as accurately as they want. So we'll click right here on the first one. It says 2.8 L IS lens, Edison. <clears throat> it was updated nine days ago, so that means the person probably still has the lens. Original owner, excellent condition, still has the original box. Includes hood, lens case, end caps. Doesn't include the tripod mount. The tripod mount themselves go for about um, probably like 20, 30 bucks, if not a, li a little bit more. It, it looks like it actually does include the tripod mount. He doesn't have it listed that it includes it. Used the full times, including the hood, lens case, instruction, booklet, and end caps. But in the photos, it describes it as having the tripod mount. So before you would purchase it, just make sure that he has a tripod mount. But as you can see, there's no photos of the actual glass itself. You see photos of the top of the glass. You see photos of the bottom of the barrel. But you don't see any photos of the glass. So this is something very important that I would recommend you guys do is email this person. Ask if the lens is still available. Ask if you can see photos. And it comes down to, <coughs> you know, 1300 bucks with all those... Uh, and then you would just have to meet the person in Edison or wherever you select a meeting point. My suggestion was Craigslist. Meet somewhere public. Meet somewhere with cameras. Meet somewhere that there's a lot of people. And bring a friend. That's what I always do. I always bring a friend with me just to make sure that nothing goes down. And if something doesn't go down, at least I have a witness to what actually happened. So, I mean, just by a two-second search on Craigslist, we found one in my area for you know $100 less and I don't have to pay shipping fees and I can get it as soon as possible. So let's keep on searching here. We're looking for the version 1 but as you can see there's versions 2's here, version 2, version 2, yeah so the rest of these are all version 2's but you know even for that sake we'll go into the version 2 we'll see like this one's 1900 the version 2's usually go for around this price range so there's not much of a bargain here but it's still not bad it lists you know the lens that it is shows the lens original box filter this use was for seasons of high school football games so you look through the photos everything looks good set up to meet with this person when you meet with the person look at it even more strenuously bring a camera bring a couple spare batteries and then attach the camera to the to the lens and then see if the lens actually works so now that's pretty much sums up how to buy off of uh, Craigslist. I will give you some tips though to get the best deal. If someone has a product like say the first lens that we looked at here, if someone has a product that's $12.99 and they've had it up there for a month and they updated it nine days ago, that means that $12.99 price is really not selling or the lens is not as good as they're describing it. So I would go up to the, I would send this person an email and say, hey, that's a really great lens that you're selling. I am extremely interested. I would like to purchase it as soon as tomorrow, but all I can offer you is 1200 If that works for you, I would like to set up a meeting point of this location and we can meet there. If the person emails back and says like that that price is no good, then just keep on moving. And then once the, the price comes down a little bit, because if it's not selling for a month and nine days, <clears throat> the price is going to have to bring it down so he could try and get his money, you know, as much money as possible. So then if he offers like a counter thing like a twelve fifty, you can say like, all right, well we'll do like twelve fifty or twelve twenty five and I'll meet you halfway or you can meet me here. And just always have a lot of urgency when it comes to purchasing the gear to get the prices a little bit lower. If you do that, you could actually buy the lens quicker and for a better price than that's even listed. So that's like one of my strongest tips. I always tell everyone buying off a of Craigslist. If you're gonna buy off a of Craigslist, Tell the person, hey, I'm extremely interested. I'll buy it as soon as tomorrow. Can we do this price? If yes, you got that camera for the price that you wanted or that lens for the price that you wanted. So I always tell people that tip, and it's actually worked a lot of times for a lot of the gear that I have purchased in the past. So now let's go on the last function. The last one here is eBay. We're going to do the same thing just to stay relevant with the video, 2.8 IS. <clears throat> so now the first thing I do whenever I go on eBay is I go to here on the left it says sold listings I'll click sold listings and you'll see the, to the 204070 I mean the 7200.2.8 IS this one sold for 1399 this one sold for 11 this one sold for a thousand 
Uh, that's the version 2. 1450, 1200, 13, 8, 1398, uh, 1250, 1030. So you'll see a lot of these that range from 1100 to about 1500, 1400 in, in price. So what I'm doing now when I go looking on, on Craigslist, I mean on eBay, is I'm looking at the lenses that have the lowest price and it comes with the best offer function or the lowest price bidding price is around where we want to pay. So let's look at this lens. This lens is beat up. That's why it's listed here for, you know, 955. So if you were to buy a lens like this, you would have to do a lot of repairs to it. So I stay away from those all in all. This lens here has a lot of uh, like that white fungus on the side. It has a little bit of chips in the paint. Same thing on the other side of the zoom rings. It has a lot of fungus on it. It doesn't look like it comes with a tripod mount. So this is another one. Starting to bid 1000 price 1300 but I would not buy that for 1300 when there's a lot better ones out there. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. See, these ones are you know, starting to get a little bit better, it looks like. This one at least comes with a box. The lens seems to be all right. Tripod mount. So this one, 1350 That seems like a pretty good price. So then we're going to look at the description to see what the lens was used for. Actual lens you're receiving. It has a couple small cosmetic scratches on the barrel and I have enlarged. So if it's on the barrel, that's fine. You don't have to worry about scratches on the barrel. Uh, winner will receive this, that, that. Yeah, so this one's actually not a bad one if you don't mind the scratches on the barrel. Uh, in my opinion, I don't mind scratches on the barrel. I don't mind things like that just because... It doesn't affect the image at all. If you can get it for cheaper and it has a, a little cosmetic scratch, by all means, I would go for it. Let's check this one out. So this one has a damaged lens, so it means it's probably bouncing around in the bag or it was bouncing along the walls. I see on the top right, there's a, a little scratch on the top as well. As you can see too on this photo, there's a bunch of scratches like here, which you want to stay away from. The glass itself doesn't look too bad. It's got a filter on it. So it doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, and the day code's a UV, so it's a later day code. Lens hood, foot. So the tripod mount that it comes with is actually a third party, so if that's okay with you, then, then that's fine. But, I mean, even this lens seems fine. I don't know if that is a... No, that's not a filter, so you would have to deal with that being scratched on the front of your lens but for 918 buy it now that's not a that's not a, oh it's non is why didn't you guys notice that non is but i mean the concept for buying used gear still is all the same you want to look at the gear you want to look at the price you want to see the credibility of the person selling it and then you want to make as many offers as possible how do you guys buy used gear what's your best site to buy used gear do you use ebay do you use amazon do you use adorama's used do you use b and h's photo used do you go to your local used photoshop let me know what you guys use in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been very helpful for me to learn uh how to shop on different used sites but as far as camera gear i definitely recommend buying used stuff anything used is better just because you get a better price. If you have the money just to shell out and buy new stuff, by all means, be my guest. But if you're buying used, if you're if you're on a budget and you want the best gear, go with used, and you can save hundreds of dollars. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Dorian Penaglu at DorianPenaglu.com. See ya.